All right, so this is Pokemon Crystal Clear. So, this game has uh, a lot of a lot of changes to it as a ROM hack compared to Pokemon normal Pokemon Crystal. First things first, you choose your region. Start in Johto or Kanto. Uh, I'm gonna start in Kanto, just because. Just because. I mean, like, if you can't, why not? Uh, so we got gender. Uh, we're gonna pick male, and you can choose between a variety of characters. So we got gold, I believe this is crystal, red, green possibly, I'm not sure, uh, silver, a team, wait, we can, we can be Team Rocket? I didn't even know that, I thought you could be, um, I thought you could be blue, but apparently you can't. Dude, you can be Team Rocket? <laughs> Dude, I might be Team Rocket. I kind of want to be Team Rocket. I'm, I'm, I'm being Team Rocket. We're going Team Rocket all day. Uh, we'll go Team Rocket guy. Oh wait, you can change the color. Hold up, can I go back? Fibif, Doom, <laughs> Robert, and Neff. Let's go with Doom. Another big thing about this ROM hack. So you can, uh, what is it? Wait, hold on. This says Charmander, but it's a picture of Bulbasaur. Oh wait, no, Charmander's the next, that, that's the next one. Never mind, I'm an idiot. Alright, so. One thing in this game. It's Pokemon Crystal, you can start in any region, but you can choose starters from first gen as well as second gen, as well as a whole bunch of other random Pokemon. So you can pick Pikachu, Big Eevee, Psyduck, Slowpoke, there's a whole bunch of like fan favorites out here, Seal, Growlithe, Houndour, Ponyta, Voltorb, Porygon, Vulpix, Pichu, all these baby Pokemon, you can pick all these boy, all these guys. Look at this angry Smoochum, just like fucking pissed. Elekid, Magby. Then you can pick, uh, gr if you see, if you notice right there, it says the group it is in. These are in group babies. This one's in group hard. These ones are the ones that you pick to make the game as hard as possible. Can play Unknown, Magikarp, Shuckle. Uh, but I honestly have no idea what I'm gonna pick. Um, we're going with Elekid. Default item pack color. Red, blue, green, gray, Brown, I skipped that. Pink, purple, orange. Orange is my favorite color, so we're gonna go with that. Default Poke Gear color. Uh, let's not let's not have it be the same color. We'll have uh, orange, orange, and brown. Hell yeah, that the best color combination on the face of the earth. Now orange and blue. I like orange and blue. What time is it? It is two. I guess it's actually closer to three, so we'll we'll put three o'clock. How many minutes? Ah, oh, damn it! I didn't know it was gonna ask me for minutes. Hold up, can I go back? All right, we're gonna be playing t 18 minutes off. Yes. What day is it? It's Tuesday, my boy. All right, so here we are, Pokemon Crystal. Uh, we're playing as a Team Rocket person with an Elekid, uh, and we're starting in Kanto. Stained, obtained, their starter Pokemon. Give a nickname to Elekid, hell yeah. Elekid's nickname is gonna be um, Steve. Can I lower? Because Steve is a great name for an Elekid. Alright. So, is there... Oh yeah, there's a run button in this game too? Um, I thought your Pokemon were supposed to follow you, but I guess not. What is Steve? Steve's got an item. What does Steve have? He's got a magnet. Which he's got, wait, he knows Rolling Kick and Cross Chop? Are you serious? Cross Chop is like super strong. What the hell? Anyway, yeah, we start in uh, good old Kanto right now. And, uh thing with this game is it's open world you can go to literally any gym and fight them in any order you want so just to show that gonna go over to uh good old good old viridian city which is normally the last gym i guess it's the last gym in pokemon uh like red blue yellow um but we're gonna go there and we're gonna fight it right now and probably get our asses kicked hello blue old man this gym didn't have a leader until recently. A young man from Palette became the leader, but he's often away. Oh wait, can we? No, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can, we can still fight it. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Yeah, look at that. Blue, hello, what's up? Yo, finally got here, huh? I took over this gym after Giovanni vanished. What a pathetic loser. The gym I run is no ordinary gym. You can't just figure out my type and ex exploit it. But hey, don't worry about it. I'll know if you are good or not by battling you right now. All right, let's see if we can fight, fight, uh, fight this guy with having fought no battles, have zero XP, 
He's probably gonna- he has four Pokemon. He's definitely gonna kick my ass. He's got an Abra. It's level seven. All right, Steve, let's go. Quick attack, rolling kick. All right. We have nothing really that good against this Abra. So that's a uh, solid barrier. All right, that's really not good. And he's gonna raise his defense. All right, Abra. I, I, I see what you're doing here. You play in the long con, even though you could probably, like, Thunder Punch, hello? Okay, great. I was gonna say, did a Thunder Punch really just do that much damage? Alright. Oh, we need a crit back. Very nice. He's gonna Thunder Punch me. I don't think I have any potions, so I'm pretty sure I lost. It's not very effective. I, I like how we have a... We have a... Oh, we do have a potion. I'm using it. We have a magnet... We don't know any electric type moves to make use of the magnet that we started with. So, that's cool. Not very effective, and yet it still does 6 damage. Flash! Oh, he missed! Cool. Sweet. Steve, taking, taking out the Abra. Let's see, uh... This is going much better than I thought it would go. I honestly thought Steve was gonna get just, like, demolished. Oh, he's still faster, damn. Alright. It's a shame. Insult to injury with a critical hit. But it's okay. Because we gotta level up, we learn some things. Number one, uh, don't just fight the gym leader as the first person. Um, and that's, that's all I learned. Oh, this person's a trainer, apparently, now. That, wait. Are they a trainer normally? I don't remember. Cool trainer Quinn wants to battle. Sent out Bulbasaur. What does Meditate do? I actually don't know. I'm pretty sure it raises a stat of some kind. Probably like special attack, right? Steve's attack- no, it raised my attack. Alright, cool. Yeah, so one thing that I thought was supposed to be in this, but apparently isn't, is... I thought your Pokémon were supposed to follow you, but apparently that is not true. Apparently I was, uh, I was mistaken about that. Unless I have, like, the wrong version, but I thought I had the most updated version. Who knows? Steve getting that solid 40 XP. And of course, she only has Pokemon that are resistant to fighting type attacks, which are my best attacks. Get out of here, Star You. Get out. Steve is too strong. Is that gonna be a level up for Steve? Almost a level up for Steve. Cool train yeah, cool trainer Quinn was defeated. Down and out. Doom got 144. Oh, we get a wild encounter. What is it gonna be? Like a Rattata or something? Pidgey! I don't think I have any Pokeballs, so I'm pretty sure I just have to kill this thing. So long, Pidgey. It was nice knowing ya. Getting Steve up to 11. Er, to 11. To 7. Still no electric type moves that I would really like to have. Alright, let's go buy some Pokeballs. Try and catch a new Pokemon. Uh, we have $1,600, we can buy, let's buy like five Pokeballs, and then like, two potions. Can't buy 999. Alright, let's go. Let's try and get a uh, backup in case good old Steve dies. Team Rocket's the best. Maybe I just have to like, steal Pokemon from people. Oh, it's a do duo! Hell yeah! I'll catch this boy. I like Doe Duo. Doe Duo, Doe Duo is a cool Pokemon. So is Doe. Steve! Please! We're gonna go for a quick attack. Hope it doesn't kill. Damn it! Steve, please! You gotta use a little finesse there, Steve. Alright. Quick attack, 40. That's what I thought. Hey, there we go. Doe Duo, Duo's back. Depending on if he uses another Growl or not, I might go for another quick attack if this doesn't work. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Do duo. Lives in a grassy plain where it can see a long way. If it sees an enemy, it runs away at 60 miles per hour. Imagine just a two headed flightless bird running at you at 60 miles per hour. That would be horrifying. But we're going to name this guy Carlos. Why? Because I like the name. Let's go, Carlos. 
All right, uh, let's put a, uh, whoops. I keep forgetting that the D, that I do not have the D-pad set to anything. So let's throw Carlos up front. Uh, what moves does Carlos have? Carlos has Peck and Growl, cool. You know what, we should actually go f train in the Verdian Forest for just a sec. Just because that's probably got Pokemon that are weak to good old Carlos. Let's go in the good old Verdian Forest. We could go fight Brock too, but... Because his Pokemon are all weak to fighting and we have fighting time moves. Doom found an antidote. I still find it funny that the game recommended me... My name is Doom. Doom -de -doom -doom -doom. Hey, there we go. A Weedle. If Beedrill was actually good, I would, you know, catch this thing. Poison Sting? No, please don't poison me. Let's go, Carlos. Pack that Weedle. Hell yeah, super effective. Carlos gained 22 XP. I don't know what it is, but, like, the aesthetic of the, the crystal, like, the gold, silver, and crystal games, just, like... I like it. I like it a lot. Maybe it's just nostalgia, but, like, these games are so good. String shot. It is my favorite. Crystal is literally my favorite game too, though. So, like of all time. Caterpie with the cheap string shot strategy. But it's all right because Carlos can endeavor. In this game, in in this ROM hack, you can actually you can actually catch every single Pokemon from uh, from both from both gens, including all the legendaries. So there is that. All right, Carlos up to five. Hell yeah. Carlos learned anything at five. Carlos learned how to be a better person. He didn't learn anything. He learned no life lessons here. All right, is there like a bug catcher I can like stomp into the ground? Uh, where's... There's nobody in here. There's literally nobody... Hey, there's an item though. Pokeball, cool. Entei? Yeah, dude, you can get Entei, Suicune, Raikou... Celebi, Ho-Oh, Lugia. Hey, there's a person. Get all of them. Mew? Mewtwo? Dude, there's a Butterfree! This is fully evolved Butterfree! What the hell? Oh, this thing is gonna kick my ass, isn't it? It's pissed off that I... Oh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Whew. Carlos. Things are not looking good for Carlos. Please use something that's not confusion. Okay, I wasn't expecting to run into a level 8 Butterfree, what the hell, dude? This isn't right. Alright, Steve. If only you knew an electric type attack, you could kick this thing's ass, but you have quick attack. And your other two moves are fighting, so they're quad resisted. That was a crit. Jesus, this Butterfree is strong as hell. We might have to attempt to catch it. Alright, we'll go for, uh... Quick attack. We'll go for one more quick attack. If this doesn't kill it, we try and catch it. It didn't kill it! Oh, it's gonna crit me and kill me, isn't it? Oh, this is bad. Butterfree next smite god. Alright, um... We got a, we got a potion up here. Because we don't want to, like, not catch it in the Pokeball and then die. And then have wasted my entire time doing that. Be pretty lame. Alright. Let's go Pokeball. I know exactly what I'm calling this Butterfree, too, if we catch it. No! Please! Butterfree! Butterfree! Alright. I could go for the catch. <laughs> Hitler! That's not- that's not the name I had in mind, but... It's not the name I had in mind, but, uh, possibly. Oh, he got confused! It doesn't actually matter, because I'm not going to use an attack anyway. Let's go, Steve. Pokeball. I believe. I believe in Steve. Come on. No, Butterfree! Alright, this is the last chance. If, it, if I don't catch it with this, I'm just gonna murder it. Unless it, you know, gets out and hits me with a crit and kills Steve. No! Butterfree, why? Butterfree. 
All right, here we go. We gotta hope we don't get hit by confused confusion. Steve's gonna kill himself, isn't he? No, he didn't. Steve, finishing off the butterfree. We wanted him to be. We wanted him to be our friend, but you know, you know what they say when uh, when they won't be your friend, you gotta you gotta murder him. Are you? He just like turned. He just instantaneously. I, I was literally holding down too, so he like instantaneously turned to the left. It's like, hmm, you're very weak from that battle. Let's fight. Bug catcher Ed sent out his Weedle. Oh, it's only level three. Can Steve handle? Hey, he's three HP. You raggedy bitch. Come on, use use like string shot or something. Yes, thank you. But it failed. I don't know why it failed, but it works for me. Hell yeah. We may get out of this one yet, boys. Come on, Steve. I believe in you. 3 HP, 3 Weedles. Come on, go for String Shot. Oh, Poison Sting, no, please. Oh, don't Poison. Oh, and this is pre- this is pre-ability, so Poison Point isn't a thing, so I don't have to worry about that. Alright. As long as his third Weedle goes for String Shot, we're good. Level up and get more HP. Come on. As long as this third Weedle goes for String Shot. Or if we get a crit, actually, that would also probably work. No! No! <laughs> you son of a bitch! We almost got out of there with 3 HP. Almost. It, it almost worked out. Alright. Come here, you fucking raggedy bitch. Alright, Carlos, let's let's uh, go on a feeding frenzy here. Peck these Weedles to death. You done fucked up, A.A. Ron, Bugcatcher Ed. Carlos is gonna kick this man's ass. He's gonna give me like three dollars, too. Get out of here. And Carlos is gonna get to six off this. Hell yeah. God damn it, I don't wanna switch. And there we have it, boys. Bugcatcher Ed has been revenged. All he had to do was use String Shot one more time. But he didn't. He was too smart. Ouch, ouch, ouch. $48, all right. I am uh, one, f one quarter of the way to being able to buy a single potion. There was one person down here earlier. Let's see if there's a- Oh, a berry tree, hold up. Hold up. I forgot this is a thing in this game. Let's get that berry. It's a fruit bearing tree. Hey, it's a bitter berry. What does bitter berry do? So what does the bitter berry do? Cures confusion. Alright, that's not super useful, but is there was there really only one person on this whole route? Nope, there's another person. Fight me. Haha! -ha. Smooch him! Gonna give me the, the angry smooch. This is the most pissed off smooch him, like. Dang. I had no idea the crystal sprite was just so angry. Pound! Listen, you're gonna have to do better than that, Smoochin. Did two damage. You're an ice type. You use some ice type moves. Critical hit didn't matter. Smoochin goes down. 55 XP. What else you got, schoolboy Danny? He's got an Elekid too? Oh, we have to prove our uh, superiority here. I bet his Elekid has electric type attacks. And that is just not fair. Steve. Let's go Quick Attack. I don't know why I use that when I have Cross Chop. But it's alright, Quick Attack's a 2 hit KO, so... Oh, he's also going for the Quick Attack. Look at that. Mine does more than half HP, and his does too. Can't handle it. Trying to learn? <gasps> Thunder Punch! Hell yeah! There's Thunder Punch super early. Hell, holy... Alright. Yes, we will delete an older move to make room for Thunder Punch. Now, what do we get rid of? Because Rolling Kick is a solid move. Cross Chop is super strong. Meditate's... You know what? I'm never going to use Meditate. We'll get rid of that. 
Oh, he's got a Magby as his last Pokemon. All right, Carlos, come on out. Teach this Magby a lesson. I considered getting Magby first, but I went with the uh, I went with the Ella kid. Cause I don't think I've ever like, except maybe in Black and White Two. I think, other than that, I don't think I've ever used an Electabuzz or an Ella kid before. I always wanted to, but I never knew how to get him in Crystal. I'm pretty sure you get him from an egg. Like, the guy gives you an egg and it can randomly be, like, an Elekid, a Magby, or something like that. I don't think I ever got Elekid. I think... I think I always got, like, Cleffa or some, something lame. Alright, I have enough to buy a single potion, I believe. Let's buy ourselves... Oh! Alright, I thought I had over 100... I, I thought I had over 200. We... We don't. Uh, potion costs 300 anyway, so even if we did, I wouldn't be able to buy a potion. Alright. So. Things are looking up Millhouse right now. Oh, hey. They actually added, like, a little thing here so you don't accidentally jump over it every single time. Does this guy give me anything, actually? Are you gonna give me some free stuff? Yo, champ in the making. How's it going? Looks like you're on a roll. The gym leader is a guy who was a champion many years ago. He's no pushover. Give it everything you've got. All right, he doesn't he doesn't give me anything. He just tells me to try my best. All right, Blue, I'm here to kick you out. What if you just went to one of the people and were like, hey, you looking for a good time? That'd be pretty funny. Hey, you looking for a good time? You're a Team Rocket. You're not a 10-year-old child. You're a Team Rocket man, so, like, it's all good. And they pull out a Game Boy. All right, Abra. You may have been able to defeat... Actually, no, you didn't defeat Steve. Steve kicked your ass. Great, it has Thunder Punch. Goodbye, Carlos. Forgot he had Thunder Punch. All right, Steve, you're going to have to do this all by yourself. But we have Thunder Punch now, so uh, rip Abra. Hell yeah. Oh, we got the para! The 10% chance paralysis. And he misses Flash. What a fantastic start. Starting out strong, ladies and gentlemen. Start is out, starting out strong. Rattata. Listen, Rattata, you may have been able to handle my level 6 cross chop. But can you handle my level 9 cross chop? That still does 8 damage. Jesus Christ. Rip or tad. A critical hit. Probably didn't matter. I hope it didn't. 97 HP. Or XP. What's he got next? He's got a Pidgey. Oh, you, you know this thing is going down in one hit. Thunder Punch. Stab. Super effective. Level higher. Magnet boosted. Too easy. Steve is too strong. This game is broken. This game is... They, they gave me too much. Squirtle! They gave him a Squirtle! Heh heh heh. You're un... Wait, you're unprepared for this. We'll knock you down. I have a Pokemon that is stab super effective against you, is faster, and is a level higher. Like, if Squirtle lives this, I would be surprised. Yeah, Squirtle's gone. Thunder Punch is ridiculously strong. All right, well, <laughs> Carlos uh, did nothing, but that's because I'm stupid. How the heck did I lose to you? Tch, all right, here, take this. It's an Earth Badge. You lost to me because three quarters of your Pokemon were weak to moves that I had. Doom received the Earth Badge. All right, I was wrong. You're the real deal. You're a good trainer, but I'm going to beat you someday. Don't you forget it. Here, before you leave, take this. Doom received TM39. What is it? Put it in the bag. Swift never misses. That's not a bad move. I might teach that to somebody. I might teach that to good old Doduo. Pokemon League. Hello, this is the official Pokemon League office. Congratulations, Doom. You've completed your very first gym challenge. You're now on your way to the Pokemon League. We've updated your account to reflect your new badge, and we'll call to update you every time you complete a gym challenge. You'll find that having more badges will expand your selection on at any local Pokemon. You currently have one badge. 
Kanto trainers can visit one of Professor Oak's aides over at Route 10 for a flashy gift. Johto trainers may want to visit the famed Sprout Tower in Violet City. Trainer tips, meet with the event move tutor in Goldenrod Radio Tower. Uh, get the moves that shape the meta. Thank you and have a good day. Click. All right.